All right, so in this video, we are going to talk about how to pin and depin the standard 9006, 9005 uh, series connectors. These are, this is male and female. These are very common in the headlight game and wiring on cars. So um, this set's put together still. To take them apart, you can just lift this tab and pull them apart. There's a nice weather seal, so they're a little bit, uh, a little bit tougher to take apart, but that's on purpose. Um, this is the female side. It's a male external connector, but called female due to the, the pin on the inside is a female pin. And you can see um, right here on the other side, there are, let's get in the middle here, there are some open recesses. That's where you can take something like this um, very thin screwdriver or a paper clip, and you can push it into that recess. But that's how you take it out, except the pin still won't come out because you still have this clip out here. This has to come off, so lift the edges, take that off. Once that's off, you can stick your screwdriver or pin in the hole there and then pull on the wire and it'll come out. So if you needed to change polarity on these wires for whatever reason or they didn't weren't shipped right or something happened, you can do that. So you can you can change them around. Um, you can do you can do whatever you need, but just keep in mind that however you go about this, polarity does matter. So you're going to want to keep the um, the black wire, the ground of the ground, and the positive to the positives. So and again, so you just push that in there. You can pull it out. You can see there's a, a weather seal captured. And that's proper. So then once it's all said and done, um, I'll put this back to how it should be. Once this is all said and done, you just push them back in to connect them. There, there'll be a slight click. You put your wire boot back on, or your, I'm sorry, the wire securing clip that keeps them from coming out accidentally. And that's how you do the 9006, 9005 female side. So for the male side, Slightly more difficult to see. However, it's got the two male pins. Um, and I don't know if I can show you this somehow or another. There are, it's not working right, off to the side here, there are two small clips that secure the, um, right there. There are two small clips on either side, on the inside, that secure the pin. So the point of what we're going to do is we're going to go in there, we're going to grab that clip with the same small pin or screwdriver, and you have to kind of work it a little bit. You pull that clip to the inside, and um, with any level of luck, you simply can pull the wire out at that point. This is not terribly easy to do on camera. As you can see there, I have it. I have it lifted. Gosh, you can't really see it. I have it lifted, but once it's lifted, you can pull it out. Um, and of course, the better the connector, the, the more difficult that is to do. But essentially, there's a plastic connector. You'll be able to see it here now. This one right here, right there, that goes in and it catches on this recess uh, right here in the pin. So sometimes these pins don't work correctly if there's too much wire exposed here and it, it takes up the void in, in this resource, recess here and the plastic clip won't work. So if you're having problems with these uh, not staying in when you push them together, check to make sure there's not an excess of wire here. And if there is, simply cut it off. Um, it's not needed because it's already crimped here. Cut it off and you're good to go. So reinstallation is the same. Now, generally, these are pinned out so that when you hold them with the clip, the securing clip here up towards you, this is my left hand here, um, the, the positive would be on the top, negative would be on the bottom. So you can push this thing in, um, and you'll hear it click, and you're good to go. You can check, always check to make sure they're connected. And then once that's, so that's how you can do that. So if for some reason you need to change it, you don't like it, it's pinned incorrectly. Some Chevy harnesses have the have them reverse polarity, uh, but that's how you can do that. And then obviously, when you put these two together, 
don't just jam them together. You got to kind of make sure that they're seated properly and then they'll they'll nicely go together. But that's how you that's how you take care of 9006 9005 connectors uh, for the automotive world.